Helpful and Harmful Bacteria, Protists, and Fungi. You've probably heard these terms before, but do you know what they really are? As we take a look at these organisms, we'll help you understand what can be helpful and what can be deadly. Pay close attention so you can identify each. From the time you were very young, you were probably taught all about safety in the kitchen, like be careful with knives and stay away from hot ovens. But did you know that harmful microorganisms pose a danger in the kitchen too? Foods such as raw eggs, meat, and shellfish need to be kept cold. If they are left out at room temperature, bacteria on these foods can produce harmful toxins. Some people might only get digestive problems after eating contaminated food. Others can become very sick. And some can even die from ingesting the most toxic bacteria. Protozoans, which are a type of animal-like protist, have also been known to cause sickness. Parasitic protozoans can be spread to humans through contaminated water or food. Many times, the harmful protozoans are found on vegetables or fruits that have been fertilized with manure or washed with contaminated water. But don't be afraid. Most of the illnesses caused by microorganisms and fungi in foods can be prevented. The key is to kill or to slow the action of the bacteria. You can do this by following basic rules for food safety, including cooking food and storing food at the correct temperatures, and washing any raw food you eat thoroughly with clean water. Don't forget that there are some types of bacteria and fungi that play a helpful role in food. In cheeses and yogurts, these organisms can help flavor foods. In fact, it's the fungi in blue cheese that gives it such a distinct flavor and color.